Can an object or person appear simultaneously in different places? The quantum universe. Let's explore it! One of the key concepts to consider is the de Broglie wavelength, discovered during the early days of quantum mechanics. Louis de Broglie found that any object behaves as both, as a particle and as a wave. He then found that the wavelength of the same object was defined by the Planck scale divided by the momentum. The momentum is simply the mass of the object multiplied by its velocity. Then we can calculate, let's say, a wavelength associated to anything, even to persons, if we know the mass of the person and the magnitude of the velocity of motion of the same person. After the appearance of the de Broglie wavelength, it was understood the necessity of a wave equation for describing the dynamic of particles. This is the famous Schrodinger equation. Another key concept is the uncertainty principle, which states that it is impossible to know simultaneously the position and the momentum of a particle. The uncertainty principle is not exclusive for position and momentum variables. Indeed, it also applies to other pair of variables, like the angular momentum angle pair or the pair energy time. More generally, this principle is known as complementary principle, which was postulated by Niels Bohr, and it establishes that it is impossible to know simultaneously all the set of variables related to the dynamics of a system. I find my sister. Oh, I found her. What are you doing, Michael? Your sister was just in front of you, and she's just studying. She's studying for an exam tomorrow. You don't need the magnifying glasses, by the way. In the classical world, it is easy to establish simultaneously the position and the momentum of a person. I will find you, sister. You will never find me. In the classical world, the game of hide and seek makes sense. It consists in finding the position of a person, something which we can know certainly. My sister did some magic and became very small. She is no governed by the quantum rules. I can't know where she is. Now it's true that you will never know where I am. Michelle, where are you? Michael simply cannot know exactly where Michelle is, not only due to the fact that she is small, but also due to the fact that now she is simultaneously in all possible places where she could be inside the room. She is now a wave spreading through the whole room. Her wavelength became long, her uncertainty in position is large, but her uncertainty in momentum is very low. Let's do an exercise of logic. Let's imagine that Michael has two doors in front of him. He will naturally cross through the unlocked door. This is true in both, inside the classical world and inside the microscopic world of quantum mechanics. Let's assume now that we close the right-hand side door, and then we open the left-hand side one. Jessica will naturally cross through the left door, which is now the unlocked one. This will be again true in both, in the classical world and inside the macroscopic quantum mechanical world. I have two choices now, where to go? When there are multiple choices for a path, is when the classical world looks different to the quantum world. In the classical world, we can trace the trajectory taken by Ellen because we can determine both her position and her momentum simultaneously. I am crossing both doors simultaneously. In the quantum world, however, when Helen becomes very small, at the scale of an electron, let's say, two versions of herself will cross both doors simultaneously. This is the case because Helen behaves more as a wave, which is spreads everywhere before crossing the doors. In fact, a very small person of the size of an electron would cross two slits simultaneously inside a double slit experiment. The person would be then forced to go to places where the constructive interference patterns occur. This would be the wave behavior of the person. In fact, 
The double slit experiment is one of the most solid evidences of quantum mechanics. The detected patterns appear even if the particles are sent one by one from a single source. The number of impacts on the final screen are proportional to the intensity of the corresponding wave. One example of the wave particle duality can be perceived with the light, like this bot, wave from particle. In the past, however, there were strong debates about the nature of light. Newton from one side believed that light was a bunch of particles, Huygens instead believed that light was a wave. Thanks to Einstein and Max Planck, it was later known that light is both wave and particle, and not only light, radiation in general. Then, if Michel is under the influence of quantum mechanics in the macroscopic world, her location would be highly uncertain. I don't know what is my exact position, but I know my momentum. Not exactly, Michel. Indeed, you cannot know your position. You only know that you are restricted to be inside the room. You know better your momentum, but how good your prediction about momentum is depends on the uncertainty principle. I am using the Fourier transformation for studying quantum mechanics. One powerful tool for exploring quantum mechanics is the Fourier transformation. Indeed, due to the uncertainty principle, the Fourier transformation allows us to select whether we want to study the position of particles or their momentum. The Fourier transformation then helps us to go from the momentum space to the position space and vice versa. I have decided to find my sister. Finally, what would happen if Michael searched for the way to find an exact location for his sister? In such a case, he will make all the versions of Michelle which is spread everywhere inside the room to collapse to a single point. Michelle will lose then her wave character, becoming now 100% a particle, with zero uncertainty in location and a huge uncertainty in momentum. In summary, the quantum universe is exciting. It challenges all the common sense. Any object has a dual behavior. It could behave as a wave or as a particle, depending on its mass and its velocity. The particular wave character also appears depending on the obstacles found by the object during its dynamical evolution. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming very soon.